Welcome back to Kenchi. My name is Tobel, and we're following Boop. He's hanging out in this little spot called Drin. Uh, we found this last episode, and we weren't sure what it was, but it looks like it's swarming with samurai, which is kind of odd. Uh, it's it's almost like it looks like a you know a, a beaten down outpost, but I'm I don't I have no idea. I guess they've claimed it. Uh, let's see if we can get in here without them flipping out. They're honestly probably going to flip out. Let's go ahead and leave this place before anyone sees us. They get real sassy about when you're in their uh, in their little buildings and they uh, they don't allow it. This building probably also is barracks. Yeah, it says so right there. So let's run into the bar. The bar should be open. Please don't yell at me. Hello, customer. Hello there. I don't suppose you have anyone to... No, of course not. It's pretty sad and lonely up here. What you got for trade? Uh, a little bit of a f bit of food, maybe. Wouldn't do us any harm. Let's grab that. Uh, looks like there's not much else here. What was this? Uh, just another building? An armory? Oh, an armory, you say? <laughs> oh, really? Um, got the wrong guy here for the job. Which is, uh... Oh, his stealth is... No. We're not We're not going to bother with that. Uh, we'll have Boop head up north, try to meet up with Beep. They're both trying to go to the roughly the same spot to meet up together. We'll probably stop by Shobatai. Uh, go up to the coast. Or, well... I don't know if there's anything we really need in these areas. We could look for a quick bounty or two for fun. But I believe there are some spots along the northern coastline. I'm not 100% sure, though. So let's take a look at that if we get the chance. We've got some fabric. We've got some bread. Were we able to learn these? Right. We already know these maps. Okay. Sounds good. So who else is... What else is going on? Who else is going on? We did put down our buildings from last episode. They're not built, of course, because they're going to require quite a bit of building materials. Hopefully we'll get our outer gates done, and then we can just lock off the walls here, and we'll stop getting visitors into, into the base. So once that's done, because we really don't need to leave the base, to be honest. We really don't. Uh, why don't we also have one of our brains, which would be Clob, right? Oh, he's the only brain here. Clob, don't die. We'll send Clob out by himself uh, up to this little hill. I'm curious if there's any other copper deposits that I might not have seen. Beep looks like he's pulled aggro, but we'll... Uh, are you still moving? Yeah, you're still moving, so you should be okay. We'll come back if he goes completely aggro with somebody. Let's do a quick prospect. Yeah, the only copper node that we can see is right there on the hill. Uh, it's not that it's, you know, it's not too far by any means. I wouldn't mind one that's farther away, just one that's, um, I guess, lower or flatter. So I could surround it in a, in a better manner, I guess, for lack of a better term. Just surround it with something more uh, more secure. Let's pop over to Beep. Oh, he's actually hanging out with, uh, waiting for Boop. They're almost together. We'll probably have to follow these guys for a bit, just because I don't want to have them get snagged by any of our skimmer friends and of course since we're in a sandstorm everything is crazy loud okay guys let's see what you can come up with we could split the party up but I've learned my uh, lessons in D&D &D. we're not supposed to do that right but beep and boop together are strong apart well they're probably still strong honestly but you know <laughs> we'll be smart about it for a moment at least at least you'll be able to see if there are any buildings here. They do tend to snap in pretty hardcore because it's such a, a sad uh, landscape here. Everything tends to pop if it's of interest. What are you? A bunch of empire peasants. Beep. Beep should have a voice actor, I think. Uh, discovered Port North. Very cool. I don't think I've seen Port North before. Probably Holy Nation, I would think. Or is it just a work camp? Yeah, you would think there'd be a little bit more activity on the water. Uh, although I've never seen a boat before. Maybe they haven't either. Oops, I should check who you are first. Oh, you're slave traders. Uh, will you care if we come in to visit? And you won't try to take us uh, as slaves? Cool. That's nice of you. Nobody for recruiting that I see. Just a lot of slaves around here. Do you think we should come back at some point and uh, try to have a mission to free the slaves, guys? That could be an option. We could be the great liberators of the north. 
the Great Northern Liberation Front. It would be perfect. What's out here? Uh, Empire. Ooh! <gasps> Didn't we want to try to, like, uh, jack one of the nobles? That'd be hard to do in the middle of the day. It's our, it's 1500, so it's only 3 o'clock. <laughs> now, Beep could try to, like, take out the entire party one by one by one, which is, which is doable. I don't really think it matters, though. I don't know if they have too much on them. Unless, like, they've got, like, a Mito. But I don't think they have... Metal blades, though, because there's nobles. I, they're not named. They're just a random noble hunter. What are you shooting at? Ah, are you shooting at us, you bastard? Duck! Holy shit! <laughs> what a jerk! What a jerk! You know what? Now you've pissed Beep off. You pissed him off. Good. Are you still shooting at us? Please don't be broken. All right, you want to be you want to be like that? That's fine. Are you shooting at the manhunters up there? Or are you trying to shoot at like a skeever that's ten thousand feet away? Oh, beep still doesn't have the assassination skill. I wonder if we could come up here. Oh, dang, he's so high. He's so high level that we can't do anything about it. All right, let's try to get beep away from this little group. We'll have our revenge one day, noble dude. Noble jerk. Yeah, he's definitely shooting at Boop. That's super annoying. I feel offended by that. I do not appreciate you. We need to hopefully get over the hill before Captain Sniper over here pops us from 10,000 feet out through a, uh, a cliff. You jerk. What a jerk. Alright. Moving on. Ignoring people with crossbows. Let's try to continue along the coastline to, I guess, Bark. That would be fine. Bark and Shobatai Heft. And I think there's some... St yeah, I, I think there are some things, or at least one thing around here. I know for sure there's at least two things here on this island. There's something maybe in the middle. I don't know about these islands off to the side. Someone mentioned, I think, that this is actually not a bad spot to set up a base if you guys are interested in the, in the future. That might not be a bad spot to scout out. And if we're close, we'll try to take a look at it. I don't know if I want to have everybody swimming over that direction, but at the least, we could take a, a quick peek and see how it looks. Okay, you guys are still focused on the walls, right? Because we need to get these up at some point soon. Again, our priority right now is to try to find... Well, okay... We have a lot of turret guards, right? So maybe the priority shouldn't necessarily be the multi-barreled harpoon. I think the double harpoon is going to do a good bit of damage as it is. Oh, it needs copper alloys. Finally, we, we have a use for copper alloys, and we left them all at home. Such is life. Okay, you guys are still... It's going to be a while before this base really sees the light of day, I think. We're, uh, we have quite a bit to do. I guess we could still have everyone. We could actually have all of the turret squad get on engineer duty as well to help out. Or do you guys just not have anything to do? Oh, you're probably locked down with stuff, no? You guys just don't feel like being engineers right now? That's fair. Whatever works for you guys, you know? It's alright. We're getting food at least, so that's a plus. Uh, did we ever get to, ch to finish the... we got... Oh, that's interesting. They split the stupid green fruit between the, um... <laughs> between the farms. That is silly. If we downgrade it, how much... Okay, so how much is needed for a small vegetable farm? Ten. We already have... Uh, we already have twelve. Let's downgrade this. That should pop instantly to a farm. Got it. So... Uh... All three of you can work this one single farm. A little bit of, uh... A little bit much, probably. Oh, we need to kill some of these old jobs, because they still have their old farm jobs. And then we'll give them the new job. Well, at least we'll be able to finish one of these. Hopefully. Hilo, where are you at? Are you stuck? Like, what's going on with the weird... Is it because you're on passive, maybe? Like, so some like, some groups are not doing anything whatsoever. Where's Kiro's at? Is he better? Who's hauling him green? 
Wait, what the hell? Are you guys getting acid rain right now? Oh, lovely. Well, I completely missed that part. Hey, guys, by the way, apparently we have acid rain in the zone. That's neat. Uh, that's fine. This is fine. <laughs> We're all fine here. Okay, so anyone who's not moving, could you please go inside before you burn to death? Well, that's good to know, because we're going to have to have inside beds now. But we'll we'll put down, like, maybe this, this station house that we put down. We'll make that our, our bed, you know, our, our nice bed area. We'll put all the power battery uh, supplies up top. They should be fine from there. What? Aren't we? Oh, you're growing. Okay, that's why. So did we do the same thing with the wheat straw, then? Did they screw that up, too? Yeah, if you're not doing anything, let's go hide inside a building. Now, they shouldn't... Oh, I'm hoping it really depends on how long the rainstorm lasts for. We need to... Then we're going to have to look at gear and equipment that's going to help us with uh, acid rain. We have 40% protection on the main fighters, which seems like a good amount. Uh, it, it may be enough that they heal themselves as they're getting damaged, so we'll have to see how far they go down compared to, say, you know... Phoenix, who's wearing nothing whatsoever. But we can we can overcome. We'll adapt. We'll overcome. Uh, we'll make it work. Uh, no one is taking this away. Rin, who's not doing anything? I think Phoenix is not doing anything. Take stuff to the thing, please. Yes, you will burn. No big deal. It's just a little bit of melted flesh. What's, what's the problem here? Okay, we're still trying to finish up these walls. Uh, who had... One of these animals had wheat straw. And we'll steal Thendu as well, because Thendu has a backpack. Uh, Rocksteady, there we go. Let's trade with Rocksteady. Uh, so we'll try to have him just do one of the farms, as opposed to splitting it between all of them. Okay, we'll trade again with Rocksteady. We should be able to finish one wheat straw farm, and that should trigger uh, or have enough to, to pop the other couple. Okay, and then we'll do one more trade. Bueno. Perfect. Do we want to maybe have cotton still? Is that something we want to look into? Okay, you guys can also work on this farm. And we'll switch that well water tank thing down to the bottom. Cool. So, I'm not liking the fact that we're getting so, like this rainstorm's lasting for a while. Okay, so the, the main group, oh, the rainstorm stopped. The acid rain part of it stopped. It looks like it's still raining, but it's no longer acid rain. It, you know, if it's only for a little bit, that's okay. That might even help us with toughness overall. Is it just anytime you're damaged, you get toughness up? That would be kind of nice. Uh, toughness ways to train getting hurt so maybe just getting hurt in general like if you're if you're standing out in acid rain i feel like you're going to get you know you're going to be pretty dang tough so that's an option you know what how about we just close this for a second oh they are going a different direction fair enough okay so we still have a couple more walls inside to clean up and then we're almost done with our walls around hope valley pretty excited about that big thing hanging outside the walls I don't have any... I've been doing Control shift f 11 every so often to make sure that we don't have any problems with the save. Like, the you know, the wall's not attached to the floor, for example. And I haven't seen too many of those issues, so, you know, good for that. Let's give these guys an order to go uh, over to Bark. Let's switch back to our other outpost, your outpost, see how things are going here. Uh, look pretty good. Do we have anything coming this direction? Sheck and Bandit. Demand. So a bandit demand raid in 10 hours, which we, sh we should probably be able to handily defeat, I'd hope. Are you still making dust witches? Yeah, cool. We're back up on dust witches again. We might have these always taken away by the Sheck, but it's uh, it's not the worst thing, uh, thing in the world. If we ever get a chance, we might want to grab... We never made a ton of copper alloy plates, did we? I'm clicking blindly in the house right now, but I don't think we ever made too many. Either way, we should be able to kind of recoup the loss that we have there by just making a copper alloy bench and pulling whatever copper we have from the uh, the copper thing over here, right? Wasn't it just really close? 
Yeah, it's just literally right over here, right? Or was it up higher? No, it was up higher. Okay, that's still not too bad. We'll send Phoenix that way, I think, and then we'll, we'll wall that in once we have enough, build, at least, you know, some building materials to spare. Uh, we'll wall everything in. What are you doing, Zill? Are they all just, like, they, they seem like they're all trying to help, but by the time they get there, it's already done. And only a few of them are actually grabbing <laughs> building materials. Wait, are you all working at this, or are you all just getting raw iron? What are you doing? Do we need raw iron for anything? Do you need raw iron for the doors or the walls? That's odd. They're all It's like they're all walking back th to this particular point. Very strange. Who's supposed to be working on this? Oh, it's a new one. That's right. We haven't assigned anyone to this. I think we were going to assign... Rin? No. Oh, we might have been... We were going to probably assign Phoenix to that. So Run is doing what? Run is working the stone mine. Rin is working the iron refineries, both, plural. And when Rin's not doing that, she's working on the stone refinery, which is perfect. That's one person doing quite a bit. Tara's just working on the ore drill, and I guess uh, Phoenix is probably going to have to work on that as well, the, the other one. So I guess... Oh, who's not doing anything that we could possibly use? Let's use uh, let's use Kai for a bit. We'll use Kai and have him... I'll tell you what, let's kill all these jobs for a minute so I can keep track of what we're telling him to do. All right, we'll have him haul everything there. Cool and wonderful. Our first building's almost done. Or, well, we are have the tiny little house, but we'll have our first main building done. Nice, and we finally have the outer walls done. Except for that little tiny spot right there. No big deal. Can we close... Let's close the inner part down. It's so... It's like they're putting... Uh, one thing down, and then they're like, they're helping out a tiny amount. Do we want to still use cotton for anything? I mean, what does it matter that we use hemp versus cotton? Is that, is it going to be, is there a difference we could use? I mean, I think they both process at the same rate. They both have the same yields, I believe. Uh, hemp will get 115% um, yield. Cotton will get 93. So hemp is actually better here. So I don't think there's a reason to use cotton. You can turn, you know, you turn both cotton and fabric into, oh, sorry, cotton and hemp into fabric. And some of the things, like medic stuff, medical things, need hemp as opposed to cotton. So, that could be a thing. Someone should also have a bunch of hemp on them. I don't quite remember who has it. Who has the hemp? Hey, Stork, why don't you drop that off? You've got some parts on you. Hey, there we go, you hemp thief. Who is that? Hilo? Cool. Well, Hilo can drop all the hemp in here. Boom. Instant popped, and we'll drop the rest of it in here. Nice. We're actually almost have enough to make two full uh, farms from that. Wait, you actually do have enough. You've got one more piece in your uh, inventory. Nice. Cool. Uh, Hilo, Sharon, Starbuck. You guys will add that to your list. Let's take the water tank off for a bit. So I don't keep having to change this around down the road. Though the water should be coming up every like on its own every so often. So that's done. Uh, someone needs to build the rest of this building here. Let's get Thendu to build this farm, and then we'll have two hemp farms: uh, one wheat farm, one uh, gram green fruit farm. Storage-wise, I'm probably just going to put the storage to the side of the building because we it's not going to get too like we're not going to get too much storage from here. Or too, uh, what am I trying to think of? We're not going to get too much of a supply because we'll be using pretty much whatever we harvest or whatever we uh, yeah whatever we harvest so we straw on this side and we'll do green fruit over here on this side just off to the side a bit out of the way we'll put hemp down oh you know what hemp is close to here why don't we put hemp is mostly used in fabric stuff why don't we put this here out of the way. Maybe just tucked against this building. And whoever's doing hemp will just have to run to there to get it, to load it into the processors. Cool. Works for me. We need to do something about copper soon. We are... Well, actually, we're under. We're just under our power limit requirements. So, I guess once this building gets done, 
I'll try to focus on the next large building where we're going to have our batteries at. Okay, let's close down the outer gate to this uh, this building. All right, I believe, one more time, five buildings that have messed up save data. So maybe five buildings didn't have their walls touching the ground for whatever reason. But I think now we're completely closed in. We are safe from the interlopers. There's a leviathan just kind of poking at our, uh, poking around here. I don't think you're angry at anyone, are you? No, you're not red. You're just, just chilling out. Uh, Beep and Boop are getting some aggro, so let's switch over to them. They're, they should be right outside of the city, so we can just move them in the city. It's just samurai, so they should not have a problem with us. Uh, there's, I don't know if there's going to be a ton of things here for us. Do you guys even need to stop and... Not really. Uh, Boop, could you share your food with Beep? Oh. Much better. We could just continue on. I was really hoping there'd be something along the coastline, but maybe uh, my intel is a little bit old. I doubt there's really anything to get whatsoever around here. One other option. If we don't find enough AI cores here, we could still swing through the scorched area here and stop back in Black Desert City at the scrap house and buy a couple of the um, AI cores. That That's still an option for us. So if we're unable to really get too much in terms of exploration, uh, we can definitely go and try the purchasing option. We have a little bit of money. We should be able to buy two, I hope. Uh, we've discovered Port South. What was this, Port North? Okay, fair enough. It's probably more slaves, I'm guessing. There's don't know if there's a reason to go through here or uh, to stop in here. We'll just pass on through. All right, let's start going more towards the rocky area. Drop another quick save. Yeah, we'll give them a far run order over, maybe over here. That should be good. So let's slow things down, pop back over to the main group. Uh, what do we want to do about this copper? Let's take somebody. Um, not Cloud, let's, hey, our house is done, nice. Let's unpause the next house, which will be the station house. That way we can start putting our batteries up and we'll have a place for people to hang out at. We also need to figure out the copper situation. So let's take, uh, I don't know, let's take Crow T. Well, you're gonna have to open all these damn walls. I wonder how far the automatic job for building will, will take them. Like, will they finish this wall over here if I build it? Who knows? So we'll have him come over here. Maybe we'll put down a better quality wall over here. It'll, it won't be that that much in terms of building materials. We could probably grind it out and uh, stock up a few building materials over time. But if we just do something like... I mean, even if a, we have a, a building, like a storage here... How much do you store? Could you, we could put a shed down. That's only one iron plate for the... Or five building materials for the for the shed. <laughs> All of this looks really wonky because we're on such a weird hill. It depends on how long, I guess, how long these, you know, we're going to expect someone to be working on this without anyone coming to get the uh, copper. I bet we're going to be using it a lot, so I don't think we're going to need a storage shed. Let's just put down a copper storage box uh, on this side, I guess. Can we can we get to it? Uh, you would think so. We'll, maybe we'll put it down right here. So we'll have a copper storage bin or box right there. Let's see about walls. Uh, maybe we'll do... Let's just do a step up from... We'll just do a step up from the crappy, crappy wall, just so it's a little bit taller. Okay, wrong way, I think. So just, just something really tight here. We'll drop a gate. We'll drop the smaller gate. I don't think we're going to really need to defend against a whole lot. Ooh, that's going to be challenging. Where will the defensive gate sit and allow us to put it? Something like this, it looked like. Right in this gap, maybe? What about up here? Well, that kind of worked just right there. Uh, can I make this, like, higher? Not really. It kind of, it kind of goes off of what's around it. Uh, didn't like it. It actually canceled the order when I made it. Hmm. 
<laughs> no kidding. Uh, that's spazzing out. What was that open down here? Kind of. It, at a weird angle, it was. Where did I see that? Like this? Yeah. Sometimes it'll show you green at first, uh, but then it cancels everything out. Let's cancel the build order. Retry that. And we'll just do this, the really small gate. Like a makeshift gate, even. To see if that helps out. No, it's actually got a longer footprint, I think. It might be more difficult to drop down. Let's go back to the number two gate. A little bit wider, but not as much length to it, I guess. Alright, let's see if we can drop it here. This is showing green. Hey! Wonderful. That's all we needed. Just a, a little bit. Just a smidge, and then we'll drop the gate. Uh, the wall's down here. Again, really wonky on angles, but it, we don't really care all that much. Did it cancel my other thing? I think it canceled the box, so let's give enough room for the box. <laughs> this is so ugly. It's so ugly, and I hate it, but it's, it's just to protect whoever's on copper duty for a while. Okay, then we'll put down the copper box again if we have room. Cool. They're probably going to honestly mine it from that side. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if anyone will actually be able to get to this with how tight the walls are. What if we do it on... Can we put the copper box on this side anywhere? I saw it for like three seconds. And right somewhere like this. Perfect. Completely fine. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous building and we're going to love it. We're never going to look over here. We're just going to send an animal over every so often, load up on copper, and off we go. <laughs> it's funny. Good enough. Good enough for us. So we'll build up this building. Who are you? Are you guys a bunch of tech hunters? Just in our base, hanging out, doing whatever. Um, we'll finish the station house, because that's going to be where we put the small turbines, the small wind generators. And we'll work on doing some copper processing soon. Can we start working on food processing? We could, I guess. We have... Um... Alright, where is our good chef, Iron Chef Dietrichs? Come on inside your new home. And we'll start putting down some orders for you. Or some, uh, some buildings for you. Alright, so storage cooking-wise, right? Cooking first. I mean, really, we're going to make the green fruit and bread or the meat wraps. I think that's really the only things we're going to be making. So we'll put down two kitchens, uh, two stoves here. Just two stoves for you first. And then we'll do, of course, the grain silo outside. Automatic grain silo. Right next to the wheat straw. Or right next to the building. That's fine, too. The cooking... Uh, sorry, bread oven. We'll put that kind of tucked into this corner, maybe, if it, it'll like that. There we go. That looks kind of nice. Uh, I don't know if we're going to bother with any of the other alcohols right now, because we're getting to the point where most of our money is coming from the uh, the sale of, of goods that we find while we're exploring. Let's put down that flower storage. We'll put that down maybe right across from the the stove, because that way people will come in and drop it off if they're if they're processing wheat straw. Uh, we could also put down our food box, which can be outside. We'll also put down our animal feeder, because this will be the main feeding building for animals. Uh, we'll put this off to the side somewhere, so it's out of sight, out of mind, hopefully. At least they'll stay by the gate if they're, if it's right here. So our defenders will, will get their food right here. We'll put all the crappy food in there, all the uh, spoiled stuff for them. Awesome. And I think, maybe a bread basket, I guess. I think that's it for the start. Uh, was there anything else I needed to do in this room? We need to probably put down, let's put down a meat, just a meat bin. So we'll put a couple of meat bins down. And we'll give somebody an order to go harvest animals. I don't know how far that order reaches. Uh, but we'll see. And we'll also put down a... Maybe we'll do skinning in here. Because the person who's foraging will probably come back with skins. So we'll do skinning. And then we'll put down the production for leather tanning. 
it won't be in the same final place as the as the actual leather crafting bench, but it makes sense to process it a bit in here instead of having to run all over creation. That's good enough. We'll figure something out, whether it's pretty or not. Uh, we could also, real quick, since we've got, we do have some space upstairs, we could put down, uh, maybe, I don't know how much those batteries cost. Electrical components? We'll put down a few batteries up here. Just, just to get our batteries uh, going. That might leave the, um, the other area open too, the, the, the station house. It might leave the roof open for something else. Alright, we've got those. We could even drop a couple of small wind generators uh, on the roof here as well. You want to just make this our generator roof building? We could do that. Let's put them this way so I can stack them kind of uh, front to back. We may run out of copper, or sorry, electricals here. But with our copper location, uh, we should be able to recoup some of the losses. So, all of those orders are ready to go. We need to get somebody over to do the copper at some point after we build the walls. We'll have to, it'll take a little bit of time because we're pretty much any building material that's coming out is immediately going to a, an existing building that needs to be built. So I guess I could put down another stone processor, but it requires, from what I understand, it would require another person to run it. Maybe we could do something like... Hmm, does this process faster than these process? Yes, much faster. Why don't we do that? Why don't we put down another stone processor? We're not going to need this forever, but while we're getting set up here, it would make sense. Let's put down another stone processor. Can we squeeze this in right next to the existing one? It might bug some people out, but we'll, we'll see if it uh, can just fit right here. The second stone processor five, electrical components as well on that. Hopefully we can get this as a priority over the other one. Is this reversed? <gasps> it is reversed. We can't have that, guys. We can't have that at all. There we go. Perfectly lined up. Okay, good enough. And what we'll do is we'll have uh, run. Is this run right here? Yeah, we'll have run work on that building. And when she's not, when they run out of stone, she'll come over here and process stone for a bit. Maybe that'll help get rid of some of the extra, the excess. Uh, Wing, and Fe uh, Wing and Phoenix are busy making iron, which we actually have a ton of iron, so I could probably have one of them come off as well. Wait, who is not stashing stuff? I need a stasher. You know what? One of you turret guys, you are now on iron plate duty. Where are you going? Do we? Oh, we took a bunch of stuff um, off the ground. That's fine. We'll give a bunch of you guys that order. Cool. Wunderbar. Wunderbar, yes. What about you guys? Are you coming in to uh, mess with our crops? Oh, <gasps> you little shits. Okay. Archers to the wall. Crap, can they even shoot to... <laughs> this might be interesting. We could put some crappy crossbows up for a bit. Or, uh, yeah, the turrets. Did I just select everyone twice? All right, we'll put you guys on ranged, and we'll put you on a hold order. Can you, will you all shoot if you, uh, can you see them? Oh, nice, you can. Uh, Lydia, come up here to shoot. There we go. We'll put Hamut up here. Uh, Stone can come up here. Oh, come on. Are we seriously bugged out? You can come through this stupid gate. It's going to piss me off to no end if our gate is completely trashed. I mean, I'm not worried about the defensiveness of it. I mean, that's, you know, that's not a big deal. I'm just like, okay, they're just going to warp on through here. Uh, so what do we need to have to trash the gate completely and have it higher up or something? I guess we'll see if they do it to both. Hmm. That is not something that makes me happy. <laughs> At all. What is this here? Is this like a little section that's all funky? Ah, uh, uh, of course. All right, we'll fix that up. What? There's no characters in the way. There we go. We could honestly probably trash... What, 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 how do we do this? We could make this part... What I'm thinking is if we could have people moving between the different walls. So there's no... I don't think there's a way to like have a smooth connection here. Like you see how it's just, it's just a wall going into a wall? There's no like intersection where they can go different directions. As far as I know, there's not. Now we could... 
have the wall meet up like, oh, I don't know, here. Well, not like that. Now there's, there's really such a sharp angle, I guess we can't, it's such a thick wall, I guess I should say, not the ramp. Uh, we could do, I was thinking about having a wall connect in here, like that. That could be that part of it. Then we could kill this section so that people could run up on... Um, what I'm thinking of, what, what I, what I want to do is be able to have people maybe get up on a ramp here and be along this wall and then come off the ramp and then get on the inner ramp to the inner walls. So something we could possibly explore down the road. We'll cancel that for the moment, though. I'm super bummed about our awkward gate. I have no idea what's going to happen about that. Is it because it's public, maybe? I mean, that shouldn't matter. So, who knows? Who knows? We'll experiment with that in a bit. I might have to re-import. It's possible that everything is super borked there. Uh, or we might just have to completely rebuild it. Like if I close it, what happens if I give you guys a run order? Are you just going to walk right through the gate, or what? Well, you're not walking through it now, though. It makes me think maybe it was just a, a bit funky for a second. See how they're they're actually going around now? They're going to the spot that we I actually want them to go to. All right, uh, that's that. Let's head over to Beep and Boop, who I've been neglecting for a minute. You guys are pretty far along. Have you found anything in this direction? You haven't. Well, that's sad. What about? Do I see anything? I don't see anything other than sadness. Apparently. A whole squad just pinged, so I think they're attacking a raptor. Uh, why don't we do... Let's have Beep run along this line here, this hillside, and we'll have Boop run into this area. Interesting. That is the United Cities like bribes. I'm glad Boop knows a lot of information, because we sure don't. Or if we do, uh, Beep's not telling us. We had a raid coming towards uh, your outpost, it sounds like. One of our fabulous friends. Probably the... Oh, it's the Dust Bandits. Well, that's fine. Let's swing back to that outpost and make sure that everyone's where they need to be to receive our guests. And it looks like they are, in fact. Everyone's up on the turrets. Uh, Lair is on the turret on the ground. We have super walls here in the front. I think this is good. I think we're all set to receive our guests. Hop back over to Beep and Boop and see what we can find on this part of the uh, the world. Random fighting going on. I could have sworn there was something over here. There's like a little camp over there. Yeah, again, they're, well, the, the thing's open though, so maybe that's not fair to say. Rotten little buggers. Hey, uh, somebody, please. Who's not doing much? One of the bronze squad. Um, Hilo, you're our next contestant to... Since we don't, we barely have any farms to worry about, let's have somebody do foraging. And, oh, our barrels aren't up yet. As soon as our barrels go up, we'll be able to drop food off. Is everyone doing okay? No one got hit, right? Or if they did get hit, it wasn't too bad. Okay, we're going to close this. Solnir gets crushed. <laughs> Do we need to add another barn to or farm to one of you all? You're doing veggie, wheat, hemp. Okay, we, we needed to add another hemp farm to the order. And no, we don't want to do the well until at the end of the orders. We'll do it like this. Okay. Perfect. Uh, we did get some storage done, so I'll say haul to the wheat straw and the green fruit storage. And Hilo, once these other buildings are built, these other storages are built, we'll have Hilo dropping stuff off too. Okay. Still nothing, huh? Alright, I guess I'm going to have Beep curl back in. Where was that little city I saw? Tucked in somewhere. I think I got distracted by a shiny thing as per the normal. Boop is hanging out in the water. Howler Maze. We'll have him come down this direction, and I guess we'll have Beep cross over down here at some point. 
<gasps> Are you speaking? Uh, island is a no man's land. I love this island personally, but we really only did go in one spot. I really didn't explore that island all that much. Now over here, I thought has some enemies we don't want to mess with. Does it have beep uh, beep things and beep things? It does have one beep thing right now. Yeah, I'm just not seeing much. Wasn't there someone... Okay, there is something or someone over here. Okay, Boop, why don't you head straight this way? Because we're going to meet up with Beep and we'll cut in. What is over here? I thought there was somebody... Ah, oh, damn it, there is big things here. I thought there was someone living at, on one of these little island things. Maybe he's uh, over that way. Uh, either way, let's get Beep off this particular area. There we go. We'll we'll use we'll do a little island hopping. Uh, I think the raid has arrived. Let's check and make sure that we are defending ourselves okay. Oh yeah, should not be uh, too much of a problem at all. Let's do a quick save. Sorry, camera's being a little funky. We're missing a surprising amount. But at least our guards are getting their training in. Again, these aren't the, the superstars of the turret community. They're, um... Yeah, some of them are... Lair has the worst. Like, he will he will actively shoot you in the back if you, uh, if you irritate him. So, someone found a ruin, by the way. That was, uh, Boop, it looks like. So, let's switch over to Boop. And it looks like it's guarded by the giant mega crab. <laughs> I love it. I don't know if you've all seen this before, but yeah. There is a massive crab here. It's like the uh, Leviathan of the crab family. Probably hits uh, hits like a crab tank. I I almost want to say that some of these buildings are trapped with a bunch of crabs in them too. So <laughs> if we if we try to open them up, they're only going to spew out more and more. So let's skip this for a second and meet up with Beep somewhere. I'm gonna take you guys down to the spot that I normally like to build in. Uh, just so we can take a look at it. And then next episode, we'll spend an, a little bit research, uh, re researching, uh, exploring this island. So this particular, I don't know if it's a crater or like a, a glacial runoff, if you will. Um, hey, we got a cannibal raid. Yay! I'm so excited about cannibals. This spot here, I like this. Now, it does have acid rain on occasion. It does have some challenging enemies. It does have the crab, I think it's like a crab raider faction or something like that. It's a bunch of people who have pet crabs. Um, but this particular spot right here, very, very flat. The fertility, I think, is pretty decent. Good water. It is considered green and arid. Uh, and it's got okay fertility, nothing crazy. But all the stone is all over the place. And there's iron and copper right here in this little gap. So I normally set up my extraction right along this ridge. Uh, and I have a pretty solid little base right in this little nook of, neck of the woods. So it's, it's just one of my spots that I've done a couple times now. I decided to do something different with this Let's Play. But it is somewhere that I like to go. The only danger is uh, the raiding, uh, the crab raiding. And I believe the uh, just there's just some roaming crabs that will occasionally patrol the area. So... I think that's it for this episode. I'll see you all next episode. Until that point, though, please do take care.